As we saw a few minutes ago, the Belvedere North boys basketball team won tonight. That gives the Blue Thunder a school record 17 wins on the season. It makes them 8-4 and four in the Nick 10. Eight conference wins also ties the school record. It does. So we felt this was the right time to sit down with head coach Todd Brannon and learn more about what this team has accomplished. And that starts at the beginning of the season. Take a listen. Eight and one start, maybe one of the best you've had in program history. Five and zero oh in conference play. What do you think was the key there for your guys? You know, we returned so many kids from last year, and we were in so many close games last year, and a lot of them didn't go our way. Um, but a lot of kids got experience, and we started the Thanksgiving tournament at Fred, uh, Fred Van Bleek Classic over at Auburn. Faced some good competition. Uh, lost a heartbreaker the first game, but then we uh, responded and, and won the next three. You know, the kids are making plays when we needed to. Uh, last year, a lot of times, it was uh, late in the games, we weren't able to make the plays. So it's 100% on the kids. And you talk about the kids that you brought back, all five of your starters, obviously that makes a difference. Talk to me too about, you know, this group of seniors. You're obviously senior-led. What is it about the leadership of this team? I got here six years ago, and a group of seniors are kind of the first group that started with our travel uh, basketball as far as a feeder program. So I think that's clearly made a, a, a difference. Um, they've been committed, they come to everything, they work hard. We talk a lot about there's a difference between being interested and being committed, and I'm fortunate to have kids that are committed. And two, you're on track. This is about to be your winningest season in program history. What has been the difference? You know, it's the kids, you know. Um, they buy in, they work, they do everything that we ask them to do. I'm fortunate I have a great staff. Um, we push the kids at the lower levels. Um, so when they get up to you know varsity that they're ready to go you know you got to have kids that, that are willing to put in the work and the time and that are skilled you know and that's kind of the situation we have right now this season things have been a little shaky at times some uncharacteristic losses maybe oh, yeah. Harlem Hananiga those types of games what's your message to the guys maybe when things aren't as consistent as you know they can be uh, 100% like you know we Hananiga beat us up and down when we went up there back in December. Um, they outplayed us. Um, you know, we showed that film and we showed the film some of our other games and looked like a completely different team. Um, last night over at Harlem, they punched us right away and we never responded. We always talk about defending and rebounding. Those things need to be constant. Sometimes you're going to hit shots, sometimes you're not. And those two games that you talked about, we didn't defend and we didn't rebound. You know, I told our guys last night, I said, uh, there's a difference, you know, you're either going to react or you're going to respond, you know, and I said, we'll know tomorrow in practice. But two guys I feel like that are always consistent for you, Braden Brown and Adam Brown. Talk to me about those two. Yeah, well, Adam Brown, um, you know, it's funny because he's so unselfish and we need him to shoot more. And he shoots up incredible percentage and every time he shoots it, it looks like it's going in. But he's such an unselfish kid. Braden Brown has no conscience. He'll shoot from <laughs> anywhere at any time and he could be um, he could be 0 for 7, and if he's open, he's shooting it. And he has an incredible confidence about himself. And one thing about him, too, he just broke the school records. All-time leader for three-pointers made in our school, and he's probably going to break the record for charges taken in a season. So you usually don't get that combination from the same kid, um, but those, those two are certainly our scoring leaders. You're in the home stretch of the regular season. You want to be playing your best basketball. Do you think your guys are where they need to be as the postseason very quickly approaches? Yeah, no, we, we talked about that. Um, no, we're not where we need to be. Now, there's been spots during the year where we have been. You know, we were fortunate enough to beat Auburn and we didn't have Adam, you know, and, and we've had some other big wins this year, but we're just looking for that consistency, you know, and, and, and you know, the conference is too good, the regional that we're in is too good, that we can't come with anything less than our best, otherwise we're probably going to be done. And you know, as well as the Blue Thunder have played, they probably expect to be doing even better this season. They just need to find that consistency, you know, as you said. Yeah, and when they are on their game, yeah. they are very, very good.